What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. This is Jamel Hill. She's going to go in and talk about her relationship with ESPN and the very own Skip Bayless. She's talking about how she defended Carrie Champion during the Stephen A. Smith situation on first take. And she goes in. Many people know her from her many you know, back and forth with the president, back and forth with ESPN themselves. She had a crazy lawsuit, got so much money from the buyout. I mean, we're going to let you guys see this rest situation and we're going to let them speak right quick. Shout out to Miss Carrie, baby, Miss Carrie Champion. Found ourselves in moments, i.e. me found myself in a moment where I was completely feeling disrespected. She would, she would, you know, jump online and fire up a couple of tweets or have my back in whatever way. So much so to the point that, you know, one of those guys sitting on the desk used to email her and tell her she wasn't right. I was very excited that Carrie got this job because, you know, you guys know what a big show first take is. And to put a black woman, you know, in the middle of two big personalities at the time of Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith, that's a huge opportunity for a woman in, in this business, a black woman in this business. So to me, that was the win. However, what I did... Um, make the mistake of is that I had six years of equity at ESPN, six years of time. So I'd seen a lot of things. And so something I'm working with the two hardest mofos in the building. She did it all, all out of honestly love and to protect me. And whenever we found ourselves in moments, i.e. me found myself in a moment where I was just completely feeling disrespected. She would, she would, you know, jump online and fire up a couple of tweets or have my back in whatever way. So much so to the point that, you know, one of those guys sitting on the desk used to email her and tell her she wasn't right. He got mad at her. He was like, why are you taking it, up the It hasn't spoken to me uh, when, a lot of times when things happen on that desk, it's like Carrie would wind up taking the taking the fall for it but no reason at all no reason whatsoever and this was during um when Stephen A. Smith got into trouble for what he said about domestic violence and the thing I tweeted was that I felt like part of the reason some of those conversations on first take exploded into controversy is because they didn't give Carrie enough of a voice and here you are talking about domestic violence and you know um with Carrie not being empowered to add to the conversation, it made it harsher than it was. And so I expressed that, like, maybe y'all wouldn't be in this situation if the woman that's on the desk, you actually empowered her to use her voice to call her. He told her, officially he made her, and she, yes. he, tra he yeah. traded on him. <laughs> he claimed, what? Yeah, he claimed credit, because I'll, I'll say this, uh, to be, I'm just being just fair about the situation, is like when I first started doing you know, first take, it was cold pizza then. And, um, you know, Skip was somebody who, whose opinion, uh, I'm gonna talk about sports opinions, I know people have different well, opinions about Jamel. that, but whose opinion about this business and industry, I really respect it. I mean, he did take me under his wing in a lot of ways and taught me about television because that's not something that I was really familiar with coming from a print background. So we oh. had a very good relationship. And so, so when I did that, when I spoke up, on Carrie's behalf, um, you know, about that situation, he was put out. And so he sent me a very long email saying he felt betrayed with coming from a print background. So we had a very good relationship. And so when I did that, when I spoke up on Carrie's behalf, um, you know, about that situation, he was put out. And so he sent me 